<laughs> okay, hi guys. Um, Raven again on her favorite chair. Hey, baby. Anyway. Oh, man. Some videos. Anyway. Here is a Lozy 11 volt 35C burst, 20C continuous, 3200 May um, lipo battery. This was my friend uh, Eric Busby's, but uh, he discharged it because he wasn't using his Lozy Speed T for a while, so he discharged it to the normal storage thing that the charger says, which is like 50%, and left it for like three months, and he went to plug it back in. The charger said no voltage, he opened the truck, and the pack was burst. Um, the casing was actually split open from one of the cells expanding. So anyway, um, it's basically garbage to him as a three cell lipo. Anyway, I, um, I took it home and removed the dead cell, so I now have a, um, I'm not sure if it's 8.4 or 9 volt, but anyway, it's a 2 cell LiPo at 3200. So, as you can see, there's two cells. I just put a uh, piece of aluminum between them, so that if, if they do get hot, um, like if they do get warm slash hot, uh, the batteries are not back to back. So they won't be like heating each other, you know what I mean? So anyway, I will do some tests with that because I know these are supposed to have a really high like uh, amp draw compared to these. Um, but the other thing that concerns me most of all is reliability. Now these have been tested and trued years over in laptops and I also know that they're more of a I think it's called a deep cycle battery because with a laptop you're supposed to basically drain it and charge it you know as you use it right you know you unplug it and walk around use it as long as you're going to use it till it's basically dead and then plug it back in. So uh, I want to do re re reliability tests between these and uh, a pack of these at the same, basically the same milliamp rating. Um, like I said, this is 2 cell 3200 May. Um, the closest I can get with these is 2 cell 4400 which is actually going to be four cells, but uh, the rating would be 44 milliamps, 4400 at the same voltage as these, um, but the amps would be a lot lower than what the LiPo pack could put out, I would imagine. So I will do tests with that. Um, as you can see, this pack right now does not have a balancer. So for now, I'm probably just going to charge the cells individually. Um, it'll take longer, but at least that way I know the cells are charging the way they're supposed to be. So yeah, I'll just charge it as a two single cells, and then just run them as a two cell. And I also have a cute little lithium battery that could be perfect for some uh, um, I don't know how I would do it but discharge and um, overall lasting ability I guess because this is a single cell as you can see lithium ion but the funny thing is the rating whoops, is uh, 2200. So the rating of this 
is the exact same rating as one of these two cells. So one of these two cells is 22, which means both of these, the way they are, is actually 4403 volts. So I will actually do a test against one of these cells, just one, against this little lithium battery on, say, I don't know, a cell phone or something, and uh, see if the LiPo lasts longer in like a, a slow draw setting. And uh, and I'm also going to, you know, end up seeing if, uh, if the LiPo gets hot under the same conditions that these do. Um, I'm expecting the uh, laptop batteries to start getting hot a lot earlier than the true lipos but that's why I kept these two and put them in a slight little pack thing that I can use I probably will um, armor it somehow with uh, really thick tape or I might even you know wrap it with some kind of thin metal casing or something but uh, probably not because I'm not going to be using it as a a bashing battery. This is more for testing. Um, and I also just recently got a uh, proper uh, lithium ion charger. As you can see here, I got a, uh, I think it's a Thunder Tiger, uh, Thunder Power RC charger that does uh, LiPo. NICAD uh, does like six different battery types and uh, I just charge my lithium ions on LiPo and it seems to do just fine as you can see oh you can't really see anyway it says 12.52 uh, volts uh, I just put in 400 May because I'm topping it up before that it threw in about 13,000 uh, I was doing 10,000 because my batteries are semi-screwed until I put on this extra 66 at the back. So I'm back up to like 16,000 milliamps. And uh, it also added some extra weight to my rear wheel drive for the snow. Because there's a lot of snow out there right now and it's hard to get grip. So anyway, uh, just thought I'd show you guys that. I'll be able to give you guys some reviews uh, lithium versus the laptop batteries um, like I said I'm pretty damn sure that these the lithium or lipos are gonna absolutely slaughter the laptop batteries for uh, straight amps but um, we'll see what happens on the longevity front if the uh, if the lipo will actually let me pull, you know, 3,200 out of it, or if it'll conk out early or whatever, so I'll let you guys know what happens. I'll be sure to make some videos when I get that all set up, and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens.